I was literally picking at my skin for absolutely no reason and now I'm super red. Hello my cupcakes and welcome back to my channel. So I was already starting to get ready really quick and then I realized I haven't really done like a chit chat get ready with me in a while so I thought I should just film this anyways. Um, I'm not doing anything too special but I thought it'd be interesting to get ready with you guys while trying like a couple of new things, not too many but a few things. Oh, but I do want to mention that I am doing a full face of first impressions drugstore edition and Korean makeup version, whichever comes first, but I am doing them and it'll be coming your way very soon. Okay, so to start off, I've already primed my skin using the Bare Minerals Good Hydration Silky Face Primer in the hydrating, hydrating? In the hydrating version, I have been loving this primer since I first tried it. Um, if you haven't seen my first impressions video on this primer and the foundation, I'll link it down below so you guys can check that out. I also made a green smoothie. I usually like to drink one of these in the morning. I actually snapped, no. I did a Instagram story on how I make my green smoothies. So if you aren't following me on my social media handles, I'll include them here somewhere so you guys can definitely follow me there. <sighs> nice and healthy. Let's hope that I don't have any like spinach stuck in my teeth. <laughs> Alright, so for foundation, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. I also did a review on these foundations so I'll link that down below as well if you want to see that. I did go out and purchase a darker shade like I said I would. <laughs> But now that my tan is slightly fading away, I am too light for this now. So I'm gonna have to mix um, these two shades to make that perfect shade for me. I do like the Bare Minerals foundation. I'm still testing that out. But since I do have this foundation, I just want to use it up. So they're both pretty equal to me. Like I don't really have a preference in terms of like which one I like better. I'm gonna use my Morphe E6 brush. I feel like I need to switch up my brushes because I use the same brush pretty much in all of my tutorials and you guys are probably super sick and tired of it. But I just wanna use what I like, you know? I'm not gonna use a brush that I think I should use just because I feel like I need to switch it up. I'm gonna use brushes I like so that you guys know that I actually like the the brushes that I use. My channel is a place of honesty and truth. <laughs> No, but for real though, I am not a drama person, like at all. I just, I stay away from it. I don't try to get myself stirred into it. And you know, I'm just, I'm just not about that. And when I first received the Anastasia Subculture Palette, I wanted to do a video, like a look on it, like right away. But then all this drama started happening and I was just like, uh, we can wait. <laughs> So now that some time has passed, I actually did try the palette out myself and I did a look and I'll post the sample look I did here. I posted it on Instagram. If you guys want to see a tutorial on it, just let me know. But I didn't want to give like a full review because I know a lot of you guys are going to have different opinions about that palette. Not that you guys' opinion isn't important to me, but I value my own opinion within my channel so I didn't want to be affected by other people's opinion or other beauty gurus or youtubers out there so I just wanted to wait until the drama at least kind of died down so that I can just try it out myself to see what I personally think about it all right my foundation is on for concealer I'm gonna be using the NARS I always mess this name up what is this soft matte complete concealer in Chantilly oh Guys, I'm so proud of this. I have to show it to you. I did my own nails. Do you guys see this? Long story short, my nail guy that usually does my nails, he was already booked and I had broken three of my nails that I needed to go in because it was so short that my real nails were actually like ripping. So I decided to go to someone else um, at the same salon. And usually I get SNS done, which is like a dip powder system instead of like the acrylic that they actually um, shape out because I'm actually allergic to acrylic. But again, long story short, I didn't end up liking it the way I usually do. So I came home and I tried to fix it. I didn't want to be mean and tell her I didn't like it. So as soon as I got home, I filed it back down to the shape that I actually liked. And then I started painting them and then I felt a little extra and found like little jewels. So I decided to just put them on and that's how it turned out. I love them. I'm just gonna 
end up doing my own nails from now on. I don't even know. All right, once I'm done with the concealer, I'm just gonna set my entire face. I'm gonna be using the Amazing Cosmetics Velvet Mineral Powder Set, and I, it's just a translucent one. Looks like this. I already hit pan because I love this so much. I just kinda go lightly. And on the days when I'm not baking my under eyes, I usually like to set it with this too, but I'm using a Morphe E48 brush. And I'm just tapping it in first because if I were to just brush it out, then my concealer would have been everywhere. All right, now I'm just gonna fill in my brows. I'm probably gonna skip over this really quick because I already have a tutorial, like a full on tutorial on how I fill in my brows. So I will also link that down below if you guys are interested in watching that. All right, now I kind of look like a human being. So I received this palette a while ago, but I haven't had the chance to try it yet. I have one of the new MAC Cosmetics palettes, and this one is in Power Hungry. Looks like this. I like how this little protector has the names of the eyeshadows on it, but this is pretty much how it looks like. I just want to do like a pretty simple look. One of my best friends, Clara, and I are headed to the Game of Thrones bar here in DC. It's been all over the internet and I have been dying to go, but the hype is real right now. Like the line is like three miles long. I'm not even kidding. It takes like three, four hours getting in. And there's like a little area where you can take pictures at the throne. Like they actually made the freaking Iron Throne and I was like, I need a picture there. All right, let's go in with this little vanilla shade right here. Alright, I think I'm gonna go in with this color right here. Oh my gosh! Do you guys see that pigment? Oh wow, I was not expecting that. I'm gonna try and use my fingers. Ooh! Comes off more golden-y, I feel like, with your fingers. I feel like this is gonna match the Game of Thrones theme. Somehow. Alright, I also have this palette by Kevin Aquan. This is actually their Contour Book Volume 2. It has the sculpting powders and some of their defining powders. So when you open it up, it pretty much tells you like what to use and how to use it, like for the highlighting and sculpting. And then this side, it has the shaping and defining for the eyes. So when you open up the actual product, oh, there's a huge mirror, I actually really like that. There are two sculpting and um, highlighting creams and two sculpting and highlighting powders. And then there are four defining shadows. So I think I'm gonna use these two for like the outer corners. I love Kevin Aquan, seriously. My idol. Hmm. I like that. You guys have no idea how excited I am for this stupid Game of Thrones bar. <laughs> I actually went um, last Saturday with a um, couple of our friends and the line was ridic. Like there was no way that I was gonna stay in line for four plus hours. So we actually had to leave and I was so sad. And today's Thursday, so I'm really hoping that the line isn't so crazy because girl, I'm not trying to wait no four hours. Oh shoot, my friend just texted me saying she's on the way. I feel like every time I'm filming a get ready with me video with you guys, I'm always running late. <laughs> I just dipped my finger in this little frost color right here and look at my inner corner. Yes. All right, I'm gonna finish up my eyes really quick, do some liner and mascara. So for eyeliner today, I'm gonna be using Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner in Black. I've been really enjoying this liner specifically because it's smudge proof and it's super, super black. Like, it's, like it actually says it's pitch black right here. All right, I can't talk while I'm doing this, so let's just fast forward this. All right, now I'm gonna get this dark color right here and just, I guess, finish sculpting out my eyes on the outer corner. All right, pretty happy with that. I'm gonna curl my lashes really quick. All right, let's throw on some mascara. I'm gonna be using the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal, and this is the waterproof version. I have like four backups of this because I love this mascara so much. Like, I don't know if I can stop using this mascara, you know? 
All right, while the mascara is drying, let's go ahead and contour our face. I'm gonna be using the sculpting powder right here to both contour my face and my nose with. Oh man, this is so pigmented. Mm, I love this color, like mid cool tones. Girl, that's my jam. If you feel like you went a little too high on certain areas, just go back to your powder brush and just dust it away and it'll look like nothing ever happened. All right, I'm gonna try and contour my nose with this now. Oh, it's like a little too pigmented. Mm. Do you guys see that contour? I'm really loving this palette, so I'm just gonna use the highlighter in here as well, that one. Oh wait, we should probably do blush first. Alright, so for blush, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution Matte Blush in Nude. Moment of truth, everyone. Okay. Okay, Kevin and Kwan. It's like almost the perfect amount of highlight because I personally don't like highlighters with too much glitter. Like a little bit of glitter is okay when I'm feeling a little fancy, but on the everyday basis, I like to be a little subtle. And I like how this highlight has a very subtle light. It's almost kind of like that hourglass ambient palette with a hint of glitter in it so you can still glow from within but still wear it every day and be natural. I feel like I found a new gem today. Okay, for lips, I have been loving this color, the formula, the finish, and everything. This is the new Anastasia Matte Lipstick and I have it in the color Peachy. And it's like the perfect nude but it still gives you like a really cute color and I feel like it matches my skin tone and my hair color really nicely. Just like to do a little bit and then tap it in for the remaining like if I wanted to go for that full matte lip look I'll just go ahead and um, fill it all in but to wear like make it more wearable I like to tap it in and use my finger to just Alright guys, so this pretty much completes this look. Thank you guys so much for getting ready with me. My friend literally just texted me. She's here, so I gotta hurry and get this going. And of course, if you guys are a fan of Game of Thrones, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite character, what team are you on. Like for me, I'm team Daenerys Targaryen, hands down. No one can beat the dragons. Alright guys, thank you so much for getting ready with me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!